All right, welcome to our second video in this series of uh, Microsoft Excel and JAWS for Windows. Just as a heads up, I'm running Windows uh, 7, as I said before, with Excel uh, with uh, Excel 2010. Additionally, um, I finally got my JAWS fixed, yay, and I'm running JAWS 16 right now. So just so you know. Um, what's being run and so last time I had been running NDDA which was fine because there was no major blips or changes so navigating in a worksheet let's get right to it um, if you are in a new Excel document when you open a brand new one you'll be immediately directed to a one in the worksheet this worksheet is one of three sheets in the Microsoft Excel workbook that you have opened Okay, and we will work on navigating between sheets um, in another video. But just to let you know that we are just going to focus on the sheet for right now. Um, moving around Excel is relatively easy. Um, typically, if you don't have uh, your, you're not entering data in a cell, you're going to use your um, left and right arrow keys to move between columns. So right now I'm in column A. I'm going to move to column B. Left, B1. Left, C1. Left, C1. Okay. So then, it, of course, to go backwards, I'm going to do a left arrow. Left, C1. Left, B1. Left, A1. Okay. Now I'm back in A1, and as you probably noticed, it kept saying blank, blank, blank. Well, that's because where it says blank now is where it will announce what is in the cell um, at a later time. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to move down one row with an enter. Enter, left, A2. Enter, left, A3. Okay. Now there isn't a like what I would call an opposite to enter, but the the standard um, is that the opposite of anything in Jaws is holding down the shift and doing that keystroke. So shift enter. Shift enter. Left A two. Shift enter. Left A one. Will give you that information. It'll just go backwards um, and up one one row. Um, just as a heads up. There, to move to your prior screen, alt page up and alt page down. So, so Excel documents are, are spread into screens because Excel documents are extraordinarily large. There are millions of cells in here. I think it's upwards of, in a standard, somewhere around 80 million cells. I wish I were joking. So to move to the next screen, I'm going to do an alt and page down. Move right one screen, left P1. So I am in column P and, and row 1. So move. move right one screen, left A1. So and it, it actually goes in, insane, like really, really far over to like XOE for the column name. It's just nuts. But um, I'm just going to go back to the same direction I came from to A1 and do an alt page up. Moved left one screen. Moved left one screen. Left okay. A1. So that moves you up one screen. To move um, to uh, the bottom of a column in a data region, and I'm just going to do it because I can, this is a blank document, so it'll take you to the very, very last um, number. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. Um, to the bottom of a column, we're going to do a uh, control and then a down arrow and I'll switch it for fun. Blank A1,048,576. Start of new data region. I'm sure it is. So, um, that takes you to the start of a new, or the um, end of that data region. And as you can see, um, <laughs> yeah, one million some odd cells. So I'm going to go to the top of that data region now. That'll take me to A1. Land A1. Oh, Start thank heavens. I feel so much better when I'm, when I'm uh, there. It's ridiculous. So uh, again, if I want to move to the very, very last column, I'm going to hold down the control again with a right arrow. Land XFD1. Start of new see? data region. See what I tell you? It goes all the way up there. So I'm, I'm going to go back again with a um, control left arrow. Left A1. Again, much more comfortable in A1. So that just gives you a heads up about what happens if you do that. Um, 
in some of these, um, we're going to we're going to start inserting some data. So we're just going to do some very, very simple things. We're going to navigate among the cells and use our, our navigation commands just for practice. So I'm in cell A1 right now. I'm going to enter the number uh, the number of one. one. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to want to go down a row. So I'm going to hit enter. Enter land A2. One. I'm going to enter 11 and A2. Enter land A3. And I'm going to enter 111 and A3. One, one, one. And then I'm going to hit enter. Enter land A4. All right. So I'm going to do a shift enter, go back, and listen to what my, my cells sound like. Shift enter 111, 111, A3. Shift enter 11, A2. Shift enter 1, A1. Okay. Remember, see, it's, it's telling me what I put in there, and then it announces the name of the cell. So let me just, for fun, I'm going to move to the right. Land B1. Now B1, I'm going to enter 21. Two, one. Go enter, down a row. Enter, land, B2. And enter 31 Three, here. one. Enter, land, B3. Four, one. Enter, land, B4. Okay. So, again, now I'm, I'm going to end up, uh, I'm going to go uh, upwards. 41, 31, 21, Now I can notice it, um, I use my up arrow, and I can do that if I'm not in a uh, enter mode. Just, just to give you a very fast heads up, when you are navigating Excel, and you want to enter data in a cell that already contains data, all you have to do is type over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find um, cell uh, A A1. 1, A1. Okay, and it has a number 1 in there. Suppose I meant to enter a number 2. So I'm just going to type 2. 2. What that does is overwrites that data. Land 21, 2, A1. Okay, so I just navigated out of that cell to uh, cement that change. Now, you know, just for, for funsies, suppose I wanted to enter extra data, which is important if you want to modify a formula later on. So later on when we are putting in formulas that may be a little longer and you just want to modify the formula, you don't want to overwrite everything. You just want to change it a little and tweak it. So in order to do that, you're going to have press F2 to modify the cell. So I'm in, in cell A1 still yet, and I'm going to do an F2. F2, edit. So now it says F2, edit, and it's letting me know that I am cool to, to write something else in. So I'm going to type an 8. 9. Or 8. Not 8. <laughs> there you go. So and I've got it to say 28. I, if I hit escape right now, it would not save that change. If I hit enter, enter 11, A2. it does. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to use my up arrow. 28, A1. And it did indeed take. The change did take, which is really important to know. Um, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go down two cells to the 111 in cell A3. 11, 111, A3. Now suppose I wanted to make a change there. F2. F2, edit. Now again, I'm... I can use my my uh, uh, left and right arrow keys within this cell now because I'm editing it. One. So now I've moved. One. 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 To the first one, maybe 111 was a bad example, but suppose I want to change it to 151. So I'm going to go past that first one. One. And then I'm going to type my five. Five. One. One. And get rid of that extra one. So now I'm going to hit enter. Enter, land, A4, 151, A3. Yep. And there we are. So I've made the change by navigating to that cell and moving within it and adding a, a, a character and deleting a different one. So that's kind of really, really important to keep in mind. Now if I go over, I'm going to go one to my right to B3. 41, B3. Now I could type over that. 6, 4. But suppose, oops, I didn't mean to type over that. Escape, 41, Escape B3. modifies, it, it, it rejects the modification. OK? 
okay? That's probably the easiest way to make sure that, um, that um, whatever you enter doesn't get changed. 